Just for a moment there, Jesus received all our sins. And think about how bad you feel when you sin. If you've given your life to Christ and you love him and you sin and then it destroys your soul and you have to repent and you low-key get sad because you hurt God. That's 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 love. That's God's that's God's love. That's the love that God the Father has for Jesus has been put in your heart. This is a lifestyle that God has provided for me that I do not deserve, that I prayed for. But if you guys know my past, my sins, you guys, uh, which I will be talking about, I'm gonna, on my YouTube, I'm gonna create a, a uh, special place where uh, you have to subscribe to hear, um, subscribe and pay to hear the stories from my past. I know they're very popular and I've told you guys some, but there's some that I haven't it's told. Uh, pretty violent um, and things that ate, ate at my soul. Ate at my soul and um, just random Los Angeles street crime that happened in the in the 90s when crime in LA was at its peak, man. If you lived in the 90s, early 90s was the worst, but the entire 90s, and you were involved in crime and crime was a part of your life just because you lived in a crime infested area um then you know you know what i'm talking about hopefully i didn't mess it up you know what i'm talking about um it was bad it was bad and unfortunately i was one of the guys that was out there uh hurting people and um, i i did i did have a a problem with uh dominance like if, if uh you could you could describe the well, perfect way of describing it is just you know you use dogs you know there's a you have a kennel full of alpha dogs uh you know and there's always they're always going to be trying to prove themselves to each other but there's always going to be one that's hyper aggressive and that was me back in the day um i was very hyper aggressive and nothing that and it's something that i'm not proud of um, and there's also some cool ass stories, guys, of cops that I've dealt with cops, man, because there's, and that's what, I, uh, that, that's what always gets me, man, that, that God, God's always had in my back because every time I'll commit a, a crime, I feel terrible. I feel terrible. And then I'll pray about it and then I'll go to church and I would, I would repent and I would punish myself. I would punish myself. I would punish myself. You know, um, and there's times where, like, when cops have had my back, and you hear something think like that's crazy, you know. But that's why I don't. I don't judge all cops. Um, like some of you guys do. Some of you guys that grew in the grew up in the hood. Some of you guys that, you know, have a, a criminal past or are criminals. Like it's like us versus them. You know, and I was like, nah, bro, it's not, it's not us versus them. It's like. Uh, you're committing crimes and they're doing their job. And so, uh, it's bad when they kill innocent people. Yeah, I get that, dude, trust me. I fucking hate those type of cops. And those type of cops are, are uh, scary cops. They, in my opinion, they kill because they're afraid. That's why, and those type of people should not be cops. They should, cops should be, um, they should be analyzed further for their mental capacity and overall character you know you don't want someone that's quick to jump that's you know like scared of uh people out there on the streets but there were times that you know cops had my back like they could have arrested me and sent me to jail for a very long time and during this time is when i was during a transition period um when i was still uh dabbling with uh with crime drugs that was that's that's something in my past that I will talk about. Like I said, in my paid subscription channel. Um, but uh, 
yeah, they could have really sent me away for a very long time. Uh, and they did it, man. They did it. And that's why I got emotional earlier because of the goodness of the Lord. <sighs> the goodness of the Lord um, touched the hearts of those two police officers. Uh, my conversations with them um, allowed for the spirit of discernment to be bestowed upon them because they saw the sincerity and the truth and who I was and what was happening and what they found in my truck. You know, I had a, had a Chevy Silverado on, you know, badass rims, off-road rims and all that. I was known, and this is after the Cadillac. I was already, this is already um, when I was already changing my life. I was already, I was already in early 20s. I was changing my life, but like I said, I was messing around with a girl that that um, had a connection and was, you know, heavy into drugs and stuff. And yeah, so they could have really screwed me over, and they did it. And that's a story that you guys are gonna tune into, and just other stories of actual crimes that I committed that you guys may not even believe because of the type of life that I live now. And that's why I say that the type of life that I live now has nothing to do with me because it's all has, everything has to do with God. You know, I put in the work as far as what God tells me to do, I do um, in that respect, but it's all him guiding me. And it's painful. I had to go through some painful, lonely times where life was hard. And um, it was very hard where I wished, you know, you know what I wished for during that time. And uh, he didn't let me, you know, he, one, thing, <laughs> uh, one thing that God always, and I like when he, I like when God speaks sternly to me. When, he, when he's assertive with his messages because those times that you know wanted to uh you know not continue um he would remind me that i wasn't a coward <laughs> he told me you're not a coward i didn't make i didn't make you a coward you know i i brought you here to earth for a reason and it's it's, it's not you're not a coward you know your life is a testament that you're not a coward. You know, you have plenty of run-ins with people that wanted to kill you. I have stories of me being in the presence of my executioner um, and him, again, being touched by by God or something else, or he, I don't know what it was, maybe fear, because I kept giving him straight eye contact the whole time. So the whole time, you know, do what you gotta do and, you know, it didn't happen. And I'll tell you guys that story too, as part as, as part of my paid subscription. Um, and just uh, there's some things that I have to wait on though, so just be patient. And those are the ones that scare me the most about sharing. But I'm at a point in my life where Or this is what God wants me to do and whatever uh, the consequences may be of that is what God wants so therefore that's what I'm going to do because at this point it's not about me it's about you guys that are watching this it's about saving you guys from going down a path of destruction because not everyone gets to live this life that I'm living you know what I mean and I think I think God is doing this to prove to you guys that if you follow his instructions you know it doesn't matter how much bad you've done in your life how how bad of a person you think you are like he will show you his glory if you stop sinning it's amazing to me, dude, how I go on social media and I talk about, I just refrain from it now, especially on Instagram. I refrain about talking about not sinning. People think that 
people relate more with the sinner than with the person that's trying to tell them not to sin. They, you know, they believe that a sinless life is not possible. God died, God, Jesus Christ, God died on the cross to save us from sin, you know? And if we do sin, we're saved. But there's a problem with Christianity in America where we feel like, oh, who cares? Oh, you can sin all you want. You're Christian. Sin all you want. You know, you're forgiven. That is not Christianity. And a lot of you guys think it is. And there's a, demo a specific demographic that I won't mention, but I'm sure you guys know who they are, where they feel like, you know, you're saved by Christ. Therefore, um, you are a sinner and you may continue sinning and you'll be forgiven. That's true. You may continue sin sinning. You will be forgiven. But why? Why would you want to, essentially for me, as a slap in the face of Jesus Christ. Think about that every time you sin because he went up on that cross for us. You know, he went up on that cross for us and the pain that he felt when he was crucified, when all the, all the sins of the world, not just the living people during that time, but for all of eternity, everyone that will ever have lived, and ever will live, um, all those sins were absorbed by Jesus on that cross. That's why the cross is the most sinful place on earth. A lot of people don't realize this, but it's the most sinful place on earth because for a moment there, Jesus received all our sins. And think about how bad you feel when you sin. If you've given your life to Christ and you love him and you sin and then it destroys your soul and you have to repent and you low key get sad because you hurt God that's 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 love that's God's that's God's love that's the love that God the Father has for Jesus has been put in your heart and that's why you feel bad when you sin so think about how Jesus felt with all of the sins of the world at that time and uh and you want to continue sinning knowing that he went through that so that you don't have to so that your sins are forgiven they're forgiven but why keep sinning don't you love jesus if you love jesus you shouldn't sin it's that simple i'm not saying i'm a perfect man but i'm saying i sin no more i sin no more and if i do sin i get on my knees and i ask for forgiveness but i don't sin guys by that i mean I don't watch pornography. I don't drink, I don't smoke. I don't get into fights. I don't um, uh, lust for women. If there's a beautiful woman that I know I would lust for, I look the other way. Um, like I, I don't steal, I don't lie. So I don't know why it's hard for people to understand that there's life after sin and that you can stop sinning. I feel, I feel like every time I say that you shouldn't sin and that you don't have to sin, that for some reason you feel like like that's an, an attack on you when really all I'm doing is trying to help you guys to not sin, you know? And the sins that, uh, that do happen in my life now would be um, some simple, like, I don't even know, I can't even think of a sin that I've committed. Um, I don't yell at my wife. I used to have that problem. I would get angry easily. I don't anymore. God has saved me from that. God has saved me from lust. That's why I could go walk down the red light district, you know, and talk to these women and tell them that Jesus loves them. Think about that. And um, I've gone in massages before and I tell, you know, the woman that you guys have you guys seen my video on in India. I told her, you know, that I'm married and I'm Christian and I don't want her type of services because she was offering sex and she the, the demon came out of her. So um I can't even think of one guys. 
I mean, tell me a sin that you think I may be guilty of, and I swear I'll answer honestly. I'll tell you, you're right, I did commit that sin. But if I haven't, I haven't sinned. So maybe let's let's let that'll be a challenge for you guys, all my my subscribers. Um, type in the comment section, you know, this is how you this is how you've sinned, you know. Or ask me, have you done this? And I will answer honestly. You know, because God is my witness. And God is working in my life to benefit your life. So, all right, guys. So, as you guys can see, some people have joined the pool. So, I'm going to end the video. But uh, stay tuned for more. All right.